Now, for the final award of the night, it's our Lifetime Achievement Award, sponsored by the Bank of Scotland. It's a very special award that recognises an individual who's dedicated their life to sport. To present the award, please welcome the Scotland and Liverpool legend, or, as he's better known up here, former Partick Thistle defender, Alan Hansen. The recipient of this award uh, was a legend in Glasgow. Uh, we came to Liverpool in 1977 and um, he was just the best player I've ever seen in my life. He obviously quickly became a legend at Liverpool. He's called the king there, still called the king. Um, in the dressing room, magnificent. His willingness to win was unsurpassed by anybody I've ever met in my life. But as a man, I've got to tell you, um, he's a great man. When you're talking about honesty and decency and integrity, then that is him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to announce the recipient of this award, the Lifetime Achievement Award, and very well deserved, I must say, it's Kenny Dalglish. <laughs> Dalglish against McCoy. to McDonald, Douglas, such a great goal, oh absolutely superb, Douglas turning ball in, who got back but it's still Douglas, oh, a brilliant goal, it played short for Douglas, to score 100 league goals for the same club in Scotland and 100 for an English club. Jordan and McFarland. Off Jordan left him. Good play by the big Scottish striker. Problems here for England. Dalglish. And Clemens' day is now complete. Dalglish. McCarry, space on the right. Masson. Look at that pass. This is Buchan. What a ball. Bucking out in front. Douglas scores! What a goal! That's it! That is it! Argentina, here we come! The one, the only, King Kenny Douglas! Now, I have to say, there was someone who was so keen to present this award to you tonight. He's travelled thousands of miles to be here tonight. Please welcome on stage your son, Paul Douglish. What does this award mean, a Lifetime Achievement Award? Well, hopefully I've got... Uh... A bit of mileage in me yet. <laughs> Maybe not on the pitch. <laughs> well, I don't know. No, it's, uh, as you set out, when you're a young boy, all you want to do is play football. You just want to enjoy it and you just want to go on with your life. And, and if you'd have seen my school reports, you'd have realised that it was, football was a better choice for me than anything else. Um, I wanted to play football since I was young. I was very fortunate that I got the opportunity to do that at, at Celtic Football Club and they really set me on my way and everything that they, that they did for me, I'm eternally grateful for. And I moved to Liverpool, played there, and the people I played with, the people I worked for were, were unbelievably fantastic, talented and really good at their job. So it was easy just to fit in there. Were you a little bit surprised to see Paul turn up? Where to stay? By the way, I hope you've got my room as well, because he's not got a bed at home. You can say something nice now if you want. Well, I've I had that. <laughs> you've caught me a bit unaware, so I'm really scratching my head to get something. <laughs> but, but, um, and Paul, you've travelled thousands of miles to be here, so I think we should probably give you the last word. Why did, why did you want to come? Why did you want to come? <laughs> My mum told me it was for Alan. That's what it is like.
Do you remember much about watching him, or is it all on videos because it was such a long time ago? Yeah, I, I remember things, yeah, but I think he was overrated, to be fair, you know? I was, I was, I was much more fond of Ian Rush. He scored more goals. So. And the one thing that, you know, for all his success, the one thing he's given us is a normal life and, and given us great foundations to, to go and do our own thing. And I think um, it's, a proud, it's a proud moment for me to see him recognised, but um, it's a proud, prouder moment for me to call him my dad. Just before we finish, this, isn't a, this is a good surprise. There's one more thing to have a look at. If you look on this big screen up here, we've got a little surprise for you. No, this one. <laughs> Kenny, congratulations on your award. As a Liverpool supporter, I want to pass on our thanks for what you've given us as a city. Not only have you proved yourself as a great player, a great manager, and on many levels a great man, there's moments that you've given us that many of us will never forget. I remember May the 10th, 1978. Sat on the couch with my family, watching the European Cup final. We were playing against Bruges, a team from Belgium. Their goalkeeper was even just eating waffles and chocolates. When all of a sudden, the ball fell to that other Scottish hero, Graeme Souness. With a little bit of magic, he passed it through to you in the box. Then time stood still. As you, Kenny, did something that was wonderful, something that was graceful, something that we will never, ever forget. The whole country went crazy. In our house, we went mad. You went even madder. You ran over to the crowd. You jumped over the billboard. You created the place in history where Liverpool had once again won the European Cup. And you taught me at a tender age, that even though I had a football kit like you that didn't fit and the shorts were just a bit too tight, that if you dream, there's a chance of living those dreams. Thanks, Ken. Quick word on John Bishop then. Yeah, I'm glad he's a comedian. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I've seen him play. <laughs> I think he picked the right profession. Uh, but for me, I would just like to say thanks to everybody that, um, and the wisdom thought that I was fit and able to deserve this. And it's a great, um, it's a great achievement for me. I feel very humble when you see the success of everybody else tonight. All we did was enjoy ourselves, and it wasn't difficult for me. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay. Many congratulations to you. It must have been a special moment getting a Lifetime Achievement Award, but is it even more special getting that award from your son and daughter? Well, um, it always is. We're very proud of the, the children that we have. And, um, although people maybe look at you in a different light, uh, we don't want them to look at us in anything different than being mothers and fathers. And I think that's what they've done uh, throughout all their life. And we're, we're, if they think what I've done is proud, then the mother's done a lot more than I have. And, and we're really proud of what they've been as kids and how they've grown up and developed. So, uh, as I say, but for me, the award will always have a special place uh, for me. Uh, I'm very proud to be a Glaswegian. <laughs>